Hi, I'm Sean Seyfried, Director of Products and Co-Founder of Red Giant Software, and I'm here to show you a little of No Light Factory. The Light Factory is a tool that generates light effects and lens flares. It was created by John Knoll, a visual effects supervisor at ILM and the guy that worked on Star Wars. He's also, by the way, the creator, co-creator of Photoshop. So let me show you what happens when I add a flare to a scene. So I'm just going to do a little playback. This is something that I've already created, basically taking 3D text and then applying a flare to give it sort of pop. And you see this all the time on broadcast graphics. With the flare applied, you just get more sizzle to it and you get more user interest as well. People really want to focus where those flares are moving. So I can also use this in a motion graphics context. So in this case, I've got a little scene that I built with a lighthouse. And I've got a couple of light rays coming out of the lighthouse. Now when I add the uh, lens flare to it, I can also animate the brightness as those uh, lights sweep through the scene. And I get much greater realism when I add Light Factory to this shot. So that's a little of what No Light Factory does for your motion graphics. Now let me show you some of the features of the product. So I'm going to jump into my demo flares here. And I've already got uh, my flare applied. But let me show you some of the 70 uh, presets that we have in the library. So for example, when I choose the default 35 millimeter, this is the kind of flare that you would get with the uh, Panavision lens that John originally modeled for the program. Also, he's built a number of flares over the years that he's used in his own uh, movie productions and Star Wars and Star Trek. So you might recognize things like the Distant Quantum or the Dry Dock Spike Ball. Both of these come from the movies. Now, I like to use uh, this uh, Distant Quantum it has a really nice uh, bright blue flare and you can use it on text to emphasize text or to use it as a transition. And what I want to show you is the difference in performance between the Quadro FX 4800 rendering this scene and the CPU. Now, just to give you an idea, I'm not running on some low-end system here. This is an Intel Core i7 system, so it's pretty much top of the line. And I've got the Quadro, 48, Quadro FX 4800 running inside the system. So let's go ahead and run this uh, little animation that I built using just the CPU. So here, I'm moving the flare across the screen. Could be emphasizing text or anything else. But you notice down the corner, I'm getting text in red that's drawing about four or five frames a second. Now, that's OK. You know, it's fairly quick. But what I really want is just to see this animation in real time. So if I turn on my Use GPU switch, you notice the results don't change. The, the output from the Quadro is exactly the same as the CPU. But when I hit play, it just starts playing real time. And that's the kind of productivity benefit you get by having a nice high-end graphics card that means much faster performance. So now I can really judge exactly how this animation is looking, and I don't have to wait. And that's really the big thing when you're on a deadline or you need to deliver some graphics for a client. You don't want to wait around for plugins or the machine to process. You just want it to happen. And with the Quadro FX4800, that's what you get. That's a little of No Light Factory. For more information, go to redgiantsoftware.com or check us out on the NVIDIA website.